Mastering Maintaining SOAP 2 Compliance Your organization's operational excellence team is either mitigating risk or exposing you to catastrophic failure. How does your organization's operational excellence team conduct regular risk assessments to identify potential vulnerabilities and weaknesses in its internal controls and implement corrective actions to mitigate them? The operational excellence team within an organization plays a vital role in maintaining SOC 2 compliance by conducting regular risk assessments to identify potential vulnerabilities and weaknesses in internal controls. This team is responsible for implementing corrective actions to mitigate identified risks, ensuring the organization's systems and data are secure, and maintaining the trust of customers and stakeholders. To conduct regular risk assessments, the operational excellence team follows a structured approach, which includes the following steps. 1. Identify risk categories. The team identifies potential risk categories that could impact the organization's internal controls, such as security, confidentiality, integrity, availability, and compliance. These categories serve as a framework for the risk assessment process. 2. Gather information. The team gathers information from various sources, including Historical data and incident reports Industry benchmarks and best practices Feedback from employees, customers, and vendors Results from previous risk assessments and audits Regulatory requirements and industry standards, e.g., SOC 2, HIPAA, PCI DSS 3. Risk Assessment Methodology The team employs a risk assessment methodology, such as NIST 800-30 or ISO 27005, to evaluate the likelihood and impact of potential risks. This methodology helps to identify, analyze, and prioritize risks. 4. Identify and Assess Risks The team identifies and assesses risks within each category, considering factors such as Threat Likelihood and Likelihood of Occurrence Potential impact on the organization, financial, reputational, etc. Current controls in place to mitigate the risk. Potential vulnerabilities or weaknesses in internal controls. 5. Prioritize risks. The team prioritizes identified risks based on their likelihood and potential impact. This prioritization helps focus resources on the most critical risks that require immediate attention. 6. Develop corrective action plans. For each prioritized risk, the team develops corrective action plans to mitigate or remediate the identified vulnerabilities or weaknesses. These plans include Specific actions to be taken Responsible personnel and teams Target completion dates Budget and resource allocation Key performance indicators KPIs, to measure plan effectiveness 7. Implement corrective actions. The team implements the corrective action plans, which may involve Enhancing or modifying existing internal controls Implementing new controls or procedures Providing training and awareness programs for employees Conducting regular monitoring and testing to ensure plan effectiveness 8. Monitor and review the team continually monitors and reviews the effectiveness of implemented corrective actions, making adjustments as needed. This includes Regularly reviewing risk assessment results and corrective action plans Conducting periodic testing and evaluation of internal controls Updating risk assessments to reflect changes in the organization or its environment 9. Report and communicate the team reports and communicates risk assessment results and corrective action plans to relevant stakeholders, including Senior Management and the Board of Directors Compliance and Audit Teams Employees and Internal Teams Customers and Vendors, as necessary By following this structured approach, the Operational Excellence Team ensures that the organization's internal controls are regularly assessed and potential vulnerabilities and weaknesses are identified and mitigated. This enables the organization to maintain SOC 2 compliance, ensure the security and integrity of its systems and data, and uphold the trust of its customers and stakeholders.